We're standing next to the G-2 superconducting magnet. It's about 50 foot in diameter, and these upper pole and lower pole pieces shape the magnetic field so that the muons move in a perfect circle all the way around here. So it's very important for the magnetic field to be extremely uniform anywhere the mu muons might sample it. And so the point of the shimming project is to ensure that the field is uniform everywhere. So uh, we mechanically adjust the pole pieces and any of the other many knobs that we have in the experiment uh, to shape the magnetic fields uh, in every dimension. To give you some sort of sense of idea of uh, how well we have to control this, I have one of these uh, shims that we use. It is half a thousandth of an inch thick, which is about six times thinner than your average sheet of notebook paper. And when we know how much we have to adjust the poles, we take these pieces and we install them between the, the pole and the yoke. We use the geometry information to determine how we should adjust the spacers between the pole and the yoke pieces. And then once the poles are nicely shaped, we try to do some fine tuning by adjusting some wedge shims that live between the pole and the yoke. So you can see each of these screws here uh, can be turned that sets the position of a big hunk of steel that lives underneath this piece. All right, so the shimming process has really two steps. There's the one I just described where we're making the mechanical adjustment to the pole pieces. But in order to know uh, what to do there, we have to make a measurement. Ultimately, the magnetic field is the thing that decides uh, what we need to do. So in order to measure the magnetic field, we have 25 nuclear magnetic resonance probes that live exactly where the muons are eventually going to live. They're right in the center there. We also have a couple sets of probes that allow us to understand the geometry of our measurement device. We have reflectors uh, that allow us to measure the position in space of this cart. And we also have sensors that are at the very top and very bottom that sense how far away the pole piece is from this cart. This allows us to reconstruct uh, fully the position of those NMR probes and construct a map of the magnetic field all the way uh, around the magnets uh, in three dimensions.